Hello guys, um, I frequently get asked in the comments um, about the resetting of the living mobs and yeah, for example White Chewbacca uh, told me Hi, sometimes my living mobs reset in the last pull. Do you know what causes or how I could avoid a reset? Thanks. So I have some ideas what causes the resets. Um, and I show you my way how I avoid it. So I do like, uh, in 50 runs, I reset maybe once or twice. Um, I guess, or the most people guess on the Paladin Discord, um, that when you run too far away from, uh, from the mobs that summon the water alleys, that this can cause the mobs to reset. And the second is that on the right and left side, outside of this cathedral here, there are some undead mobs and when they get evolved into the fight and reset, they cause the reset of all the mobs. So I can only show you my way of pulling, what I do to prevent this and you can try it yourself if this helps you, because for me it's, yeah, it's working out. I do this pull now and show you exactly what I am doing and yeah, maybe it helps you. So the part of the pulling um, is known of you already, I guess. Uh, there are a few other content creators out there that made really good guides on this, how to pull it. So that's not the part of my video. I just show you now how to avoid the resetting. So, from the start of the pull, I just run straight and uh, don't stop here. All mobs that I avoid are pulled automatically from uh, the body aggro. So, in this part, I think you all do the same. And here I aim for this plate on the on the floor place here wait till I get charged and then I use my rank one consecration so in the last moment so here I place a second rank one consecration look for a mob with mana to mana tap pull this side and now I turn around and just backpedal a bit to wait that the mobs can catch up so and they will kick me so I get a little bit of distance from them that they don't air yeah, kill me. So here I pull the next mobs and from this on I'm yeah I'm not stopping. I put down rank one consecration here again. And on this corner I don't cut it, I run a little bit bigger circle. When the mobs kick me, you see they kick me inside this thing so I don't get charged far away so and now yeah I'm just running so this is a little bit unlucky but should be no problem just face to them that they don't kill you run inside the cave and yeah I, I guess it's already known by you so I get a little bit unlucky here I go inside the corner so and now is the problem I guess that you face that here the mobs are resetting for you. So sometimes when the last mobs run here they just disappear yeah? and I don't really have this problem anymore um, with the exact same route that I showed you um, I don't face the problem of resetting. Uh, it maybe happens once or twice every 50 runs. So just a quick summary, outside the cathedral wait for the mobs um, to run to you, place a rank 1 consecration on the last second when they charge you, under the or inside the tunnel when you run out of the living side, place another rank 1 consecration, um, pull the mobs on the left side, pull the mobs on the right side and then just backpedal a little bit to give the mobs a chance to catch up to you. 
And from there on, put another consecration um, where the unforgiving is and don't cut the next corner too sharp. And this is what works for me. I hope this works for you too. Um, if not, please tell it in the comments down below um, and I can figure out what the problem still is and yeah, I try to help you to solve this problem. So thank you for watching guys and yeah, see you next time, bye.